This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. Celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I got to be in the first row behind <laughs> the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas. They come in groups. They want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. And one, two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of motivation He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Conor McGregor has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the great. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. Dean, our referee for this one. So here is Conor McGregor once again. Is there any atmosphere in MMA quite like Conor McGregor fighting in this octagon? The Irish fans are going bananas. We'll see if Conor McGregor can take advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach here tonight. Well, a few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Nice defense there. Oh, and there's that patented McGregor left hand. They gotta bronze that left hand and put him in the Hall of Famers. I 
mean, you know it's coming. But because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's going to throw that punch. good is this one minute into the fight and we got a full-on bro. These guys said that they were going to point this to the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now I am so wrong they are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Conor McGregor gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Those are the body kicks that'll trouble you. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, that's right really hand by the Yeah, yeah. It won't take many of those. Attempts the front kick there. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Nice execution on the team. Look at that leg. Beautiful shot to the leg. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally it's the hands. Tonight he's going kick after kick after kick. To the jab now, no good. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Just over two minutes to go. Connor McGregor gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. And he comes through with a big knee. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Come on, man. Let's get that takedown. Score some points. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landing for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Oh, he cut a nasty cut on his lip. Nasty body kick downstairs. Nice counter shot there. Body kick after body kick. Good jab there by the champion. Heavy kick downstairs. Nice punch to the head. Final seconds of round one. Left eye starting to shut a little bit. That bear's watching. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the first five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did.
did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. The right hand just misses. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yes. Oh! Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Oh, nice. Oh, man, the... Oh! Oh, Back to the feet now. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, well, good news is he rocked it. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands, every punch lands. He is just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's gonna end very early. All right, let's go. Let's that Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston and it lands again. It's like an atabomb. Like he hits people and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it. Oh, Big combination. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Gregor's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Defense. Both fighters throwing the heat now. Effective with the jab. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. All right, so now we start to see some visible damage in the form of swelling as the ground and pound strikes continue to land. Strong reversal there. Now he's on top, exactly where he wanted to go. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Neon Belly, big strikes landing here. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one is. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Final seconds here. Right How about those five minutes? Stop, stop, stop. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. 
We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. There's that sidekick. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. McGregor gets touched by that kick to the body. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh! He's hurting bad here. Big right hand. McGregor going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. It's time to look for that kick down now. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. Holy smokes! That is it! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So, back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the All right, well, as many of you know, the overwhelming majority of Conor McGregor's pro MMA wins have come by knockout, and he produces another one here in the Octagon tonight. Produces another knockout. Conor McGregor will tell you that he's going to knock you out, and he goes out there, and he does it. Hats off to Conor McGregor and all of his coaches for another massive victory and another huge spot in his UFC career.